Welcome to Holich. First weekend in May 2024. And this year Holich gave us a southerly wind with varying directions and varying speeds between 3 to 7 meters per second, let's say. That's why I'm standing a bit further out, away from the camp. So pilots are getting ready, two minutes to start. And with this wind direction, they basically have only one choice. So, north of the field and there is this forest and the idea is to catch the wave that air makes when passing over these trees. So the trees to, what's that, to the west of the field are the closest to the starting line over there, but they are much higher than the first trees over there where the, where the food is served. So, I guess the winning strategy would be to try the air over the camp, if there's something there. Then next try those trees over there. And if it's nothing there, try the main forest line. Because there's for sure to be something there. Now I wonder if all 14 pilots in the flyoff will jump to, to in, in one uh, terminal uh, here and make uh, for a crowded airspace or will they spread out? Let's see. Nobody went behind me. I'm trying low here already over the field. And some of them over the camp. Adding some energy to the planes and that's it. So some are relatively close. Some are already far out. And if this can focus, I think it is. Okay. So this is the top of the gaggle. Let's see what can we see. Maybe that's a better view of the whole group. So the organizer here allows motor restart, which means you can actually risk much more here low over the trees and still come back with the model in one piece. Because in the past I remember we had quite a lot of landings in those trees and not all of them turned out uh, happily. Let's see what's happening over here. Yep, this is what I was talking about. So 
So those trees and then the hangar building and airfield clubhouse, I guess. Their roofs are positioned exactly right for the purpose today. So that guy is already going home. I think I've heard the motor. Yep, landing. Okay, one down. Interesting. 13 to go. the fight look over there so once you find the thermal you just have to follow it that's not always easy because sometimes you really go far downwind, really far. So now there's one guy basically flying a solo. Where is he? Here, yeah. That's, I guess, much less stressful. Uh, but still... Uh, quite safe choice as the whole line of trees is working nicely. No drama there. So even the group dispersed now a bit. Some guys managed to gain a couple of hundred meters. And some guys are still trying to find their lift. I don't know what this guy is doing. Where is he? Here. Looks like no lift for this guy, how come? And someone joined him now? So looks like they decided to return, to not go really far downwind. Smart move in my opinion in this wind. Now they have to find their next one. and going home, I guess. I'm not sure. So there's enough wind that I don't really hear what's happening over there. Yeah, looks like I was right. Second one down. Who's now the lowest? There is one... I don't know, brave or what? But still struggling or fighting, depends on how you want to look at this. So 
some birds there. That's usually a good sign. He's over those buildings. Trying to find something there. this maybe turn maybe no yes He doesn't want to be blown downwind. That's maybe a strategy too. You have to rely on the whole line of trees to always work. Which I guess it's not really a problem. But let me show you what's happening in the sky behind me. So to the east the sky is clear. There's this line of cumulus clouds and then from the west we are getting a cirrostratus layer that will probably cover the sun, we already started to cover the sun and kill all the thermals. So okay, first flight was kind of okay I guess but second and especially third one those will be a fight. If you have just the winds and no thermals, good luck, they will need it. So in the meantime, what's happening here? I see some planes really high, that's where you want to be, maybe some five minutes to go. And that looks like a flight done. This guy here is a tow plane for the sail planes on the runway. Yes, we have active airfield and flying going on while we're having a competition. Each year less and less places allow you to do something like this. But Holich is one of those where this is still possible. And this kind of wind direction helps us with that because we are not flying over the runway. So these two guys are the lowest. They now need enough height to come back to landing. And it looks like this is already becoming a struggle. don't see them gaining much. Now he's really stepping on it, going into the wind. Probably some speed mode or something, because he's also losing height really fast.
And I guess that's the end of the fight for him, unfortunately. Let's hope he... I don't know where he landed in the camp, apparently. That ding was two minutes to go. And I see some victory loops. And more, more. One more for the camera, please. No, doesn't look like. Now the crowd is gathering for the landing. Let's see if I can get them all at once. That is first flight done. Two more to go. Waiting for the second start. Now the sun is at about half the strength as it was before. Getting covered by by those uh, cirrus clouds and wind I think is picking up so no good news and it, this one will be interesting not sure how many terminals are left maybe there are still some but if not it will be wave grinding on the third line. See how this goes. Someone above me. I was hoping he would go to the trees to my left but he's joining the rest of the flock over there and I see some low starts
Doesn't look like there's much going on at all. Again, there's someone soloing. And he looks like he has the best there. Okay, can't focus this. Maybe manually. Yeah, better. Even he's now sticking into the wind, not doing anything, just waiting here. happening here either. much to say. The best air seems to be over here now. At least the guy at the top gained quite nice height. And I see that people are now moving slowly towards him. At least these two are. one more even two more okay I feel a bit more heat from the sun that's always good news It will take a couple of minutes before the thermals start working again.
see some folks running from the corridor down to the towards the plains. Either visibility or some radio issues. the lowest. It would be someone here, I guess. How are we on time? Yeah, like mid-flight. Still work to do. Now this left side of the T line is letting go, looks like. Something happening down towards the hangars. So three, four, five planes managed to gain some height. And even those that were low are now climbing. Now look at this. Just hanging there and going up. That's nice. That's really nice. Maybe a turn, I don't know. Hard to say now what's going on. Is, are these thermals, are these waves, whatever these are, they give you time to stay in the air. And that's what we that's the game we play. so gusty now that it's shaking my camera.
So this is grouping for landing already. Some nice formation flying there almost. Unintentional of course. Two minutes to go. See how much tracking I can do. Okay, a bit shaky, but I think I mostly managed. Let's see now what the third flight will bring. Clouds are completely covering the sun and the cumulus clouds are starting to disperse all around the field, even this line here looks much weaker than before that's gonna be a tough one so I haven't mentioned how tough this competition is top 14 pilots in the fly-off were all within 1.5% of the score so if you had a flight like 90, 70, 970 points that was already considered bad because they flew six rounds one was dropped and out of the five remaining rounds the most points you could lose was 70 altogether that's the level of this competition and just before the flyover started, we were talking in the camp. This is one of the oldest fields that we are still going to regularly each year. I think first F5G events were held here in like 2008-9 or thereabouts. And even before that F3J going back to 96 at least. So, strong culture and strong club organizing nice big events of course on this huge field that's working thermally with any kind of wind that also helps okay now what still low and slow 
not that slow, quite fast, some of them, but going crazy low, how about that? Okay, they saw something I didn't. That's my only explanation for this low start. It's gonna be fun. These are the kind of zero or hero moments. Come on. Thank you. some birds. Maybe that's what attracted them. Others are not much better off. This is going to be fine. So moments ago I said they flew six rounds, but if you look at the scoreboard you will find me there at the bottom with all zeros, which means that I did sign up to fly here, but didn't manage to, because yesterday there was a more interesting event for me that popped up on my schedule, and that was meeting of European Aptera ambassadors and investors. This fascinating group of people, lots of positive energies and ideas how to import Aptera from US to Europe and put it on the road here. This is going to be a bit of a challenge, at least for the early adopters of the launch edition of Terra. But we have at least three possible scenarios how we could achieve this and all three look very plausible. So if you don't know what I'm talking about and what Aptera is, check out the end of my F5J past, present and future video. So, zooming out a bit. there was indeed something and most of them managed to, to climb out just fine. Amazing. I wouldn't have bet on this. Mm -hmm. 
but if not it is not as good for the guys at the bottom of this wave or whatever it is okay, but maybe he now got it too yeah so I as I said I was still in middle of Germany yesterday evening so I pulled another stunt and did the 800 kilometer drive overnight to reach here just so you guys can watch this and once this is over I'm driving back home this is about eight hours on the road so I know about 500 miles And this is my reason why, why I need Aptera. Because just doing stunts like this, it's a bit expensive. It looks like this has developed into a rather nice and pleasant flight. So who is now soloing here? Maybe he doesn't have enough excitement over there, he's looking for some more. He just ran away from the crowd. Which is always a good idea. If you have enough height and time. Or rather if time is on your side. wind is picking up again I wonder what that means So these groups can be rather tight despite all the airspace available. So I just hope there's no mid-airs in this last flight.
Oh, there's one more interesting target. What's this guy doing? Hanging there in the waves again? Is this the same guy as before? Can't tell, we'll check later. If he manages to do that for a few more minutes, I think he's good. That doesn't look too good. Not sure if he will come out of behind those trees. I don't think so. In the meantime, we have less than two minutes to go and the flock is coming back home. Okay, flight three done. Now let's wait for the results. 